welcome back to my channel. It's time for my monthly update on the latest new releases in the perfume world. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight new fragrances to take you through this month. If you are new here, then hello, welcome. I do these videos every month, so do check out my previous videos. And I have hundreds, actually over a thousand, five hundred other videos now on um, all different perfume ranges, perfume notes, perfumers, you name it. So do check out my other content. Um, and if you're a regular viewer, do make sure you're subscribed and give the video a thumbs up, that really helps me. And as always, I'll leave the links down below to where you can get all these perfumes I mentioned where they're available all around the world. So of course, I have to start off with the most exciting new release of September, which is my third fragrance, Artemis. Here it is. This has been a year in the making and if you don't know, I already have my first fragrance, Empress, which is kind of like a boss girl, quite sexy nighttime vibes type perfume. Then I have Aphrodite, which is a tropical mango, quite summery. So for Artemis, I wanted to create something that was very universal, would fit throughout the year, day or night. So Artemis is the goddess of the moon. She's also the Greek goddess of like hunting and the forest. And essentially what I wanted to do is recreate the feeling of the forest at night. And I was also inspired by the nighttime scene in the forest in Fantasia with all the fairies. So this is also a little bit inspired by one of my favorite discontinued perfumes, Gucci Flora Original Eau de Parfum, which is an Osmanthus fragrance. So Artemis, opens with a juicy, fruity nectarine and peach. And then that's followed by Osmanthus, which is a peachy floral. There's a hint of peony. And then in the base, you've got all the trees of the forest, like cedar, sandalwood, and there are green notes throughout. It reminds me a little bit of Jo Malone, Nectarine Blossom and Honey, if you've tried that. And of course, it's vegan and cruelty free, and it's 30% fragrance oil concentration, so it's about three times more concentrated than a typical designer like mainstream fragrance. Super exciting that this is now available on FragranceNet. So they ship to US, Canada, Mexico, and Australia. I'll leave the link below. It of course comes in the 50 ml travel spray as well. My fragrances are now available at the perfume shop here in the UK, uh, but you can of course order them from my website as well. And samples you can get from my website and I ship them all around the world. So the travel sprays are available now, but actually the glass bottles, I'm just waiting. There was a slight delay because I made a last minute change to the color. They're due to arrive this week and then I'll be filling them all myself. I fill everything myself. And um, so then they'll be available probably later this week or next week for international orders. So super exciting. Um, so do let me know your thoughts if you've tried Artemis yet. So of course that is my favorite and most exciting release of the month. Probably my next favorite is the new Dolce & Gabbana Devotion Intense. Um, so original Devotion came out last year and it's like a candied lemon, um, vanilla, kind of like a lemon meringue. And then Devotion Intense has an orange blossom note added. So it's kind of like a candy candied orange, little bit of floral orange blossom and that vanilla sweet base. I think it works really well. It's definitely projecting more than original, which is good because it's called intense. And I think this would definitely work now in the colder months in the autumn here in the Northern Hemisphere, but you could wear this in the summer as well. It's described as having hazelnut and I don't really get any nuttiness, um, but I love orange blossom. It's one of my favorite fragrance notes. And I think it works really well in this. And definitely if you like Original Devotion or if you like Acro Bake, which is made by the same perfumer, Olivier Cresp, I think you'll like Devotion Intense too. Next up, we have a new one from Lancome in their Le Vie Belle range. This is called Le Vie Belle Elixir. And to me, this doesn't really have anything in common with Original Le Vie Belle, which is a praline rose, quite sweet, patchouli fragrance. This one is a violet perfume. So it's quite powdery. Reminds me of the Palmer Violet Sweets, if you've ever tried them. And there's a hint 
bits of leather in here. It's quite serious, quite warm. I find it performs really well. If you do light violet perfumes, um, I think you'll definitely like this. I wouldn't say it was a safe blind buy and I wouldn't say if you like original Olivier Bell that you'll necessarily like this. I think if you like their Iris Absolu or the Gold um, Le Extract one, which are both Iris perfumes, I think you'll like this because Violet and Iris are very similar. But it certainly performs well. I find Olivier Bell perfumes perform really well. Lancome in general perfumes perform really well. So it's definitely a good perfume and Soki approved for Violet lovers. Next up, we have a new release from Narcissa Rodriguez called All of Me Intense. This one, um, I wasn't that over, like enamored with. Original All of Me came out, I think last year, and that was a really pretty delicate floral with gardenia in, quite sparkling. This is more of a powdery rose, iris and rose. And to me, it smells a little bit dated and um, those sort of powdery florals from the past and I didn't find it particularly unique either. Um, so it is quite different to original All of Me and the original All of Me is still my favorite. But if you are a fan of a more powdery rose, um, I do find Narcissa Rodriguez per perfumes perform quite well. Um, but I wouldn't really have called this an intense, it's more just, I don't know, maybe I will have called it All of Me Floral or something. Um, so I think this is okay, but you can get a powdery rose, you know, from loads of brands, probably at a more affordable price. So not sure this one's so key approved. Next up, we have a new fragrance from Jean-Paul Gaultier. This is their Gaultier fragrance called Le Parfum. They already have one called Gaultier Eau de Parfum. This is Le Parfum. It's a different scent. So the original one was very lily. This one has the lily in, but it also has this solar note in and frangipani. So to me, this feels quite summery and really reminded me of Pacaraban Olympia Solar. So the solar notes is quite warm, a little bit sweet from the frangipani. Feels very summery to me. The name Le Parfum suggests that it's more heavier and concentrated, which is not what I've found at all here. I probably would have called it divine solar or something um, and it has a little bit of cleanness from a sea salt in here again reminding me of Pecoraban Olympia so it's quite nice um, it's quite expensive and I didn't find it was like really good for lasting or anything um, but yeah again the naming and everything quite confusing so I think it's okay it's a nice smell and you can probably get Pecoraban Olympia solar cheaper than this because it's new um, but the, yeah for me the two very similar Next up, we have a new one from Bulgari in their Omnia range, and this is an Eau de Parfum version of Crystalline. Um, if you are regular, you'll know that I really like Omnia Crystalline. It's a tea, lotus, very clean with a bamboo note in, great for like clean everyday wearing, and it was the lotus note in Omnia that inspired the lotus note that I used in my Aphrodite perfume, very clean and fresh. This new Eau de Parfum version, I have it here in a sample, I found it performed like stronger than the Eau de Toilette, the original, but the scent was pretty much the same. Um, so I do recommend the Eau de Parfum over the Eau de Toilette because it just has that better lasting power. Next up, we have a new one from Guess called Guess Iconic. I know a lot of people have said it looks, kind of looks like a Gucci perfume. This is very much something I'd expect from Guess. Very wearable, everyday. You've got orange blossom in here, some fresh citrus notes, some quite aquatic sea notes in here. Something you could wear any day to any occasion. It's not particularly unique. It's not a new scent. A relatively affordable everyday perfume, which is kind of what I associate the Guess fragrances with. And then lastly, um, kind of the opposite, from Jubox, we have the new 54 fragrance. This is inspired by Studio 54. I actually went to a launch event for this at Harrods where the perfumer was there and this has been made in collaboration with the perfume guy and um, if you've ever seen his YouTube channels so I got to meet him that was really cool and Studio 54 if you don't know this is their like press release was a club in New York I think was it the 70s and anyone who was anyone was there like Andy Warhol all those people and this is um, supposed to be inspired by that in the sense that it's how they imagine it would smell, but today. So you've got um, absolutely some liquor notes in here, like a rum, a bit of vanilla, quite a lot of patchouli. I really get the patchouli. Uh, tobacco, saffron, cardamom. Um, it's definitely quite sexy. I think it leans more masculine to me, even though Jubox, they're all um, you know unisex, gender neutral. 
and I find, you know, it performs really well, being quite a heavy fragrance. Feels to me definitely like nighttime, um, and I think this would be really nice on a man at night. Um, it's quite unique, but and it does have a lot of patchouli in, which is quite unusual to have a lot of patchouli in a men's fragrance, but you really get, I really got like the alcohol, like the rum, the liquor scent, and tobacco in here as well, which, you know, makes it quite like sweet at first. Um, I do like a tobacco note. So yeah, quite different and a really cool concept. The Jubox, I have a video, I'll leave it linked below on the rest of their fragrance. They're all inspired by like music. Cool, so those are all the new releases I've managed to get my hands on this month. There are plenty of others coming up, um, which I'll try and get, and I do try and get all the new releases and review them for you. Let me know if you've tried any of these, which are your favorites. I'll leave the link to all of them down below in the description box where you can get them. But that's it guys, so thanks so much for watching as always. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.